Hi guys, today we are going to look at different finishes of different guitars and how you're going to clean them, the best way to clean different finishes. So starting with the Fender Strat that we've got here, what kind of finish have we got here? Well this is a poly finish, what they call a poly finish. A poly finish. Okay, so it's polyurethane. Okay. okay. Um, it's generally a lot thicker than a nitro finish, which okay. would be a nitrous cellulose finish. Okay, and those are the two? Yeah. Make, there's going to uh, be one of the two? Absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah, and we could sort of say there's a third in, in respect of there's a vin, you know, the vintage, the vintage guitars. Finish. Okay, yeah. sure. But that's okay. they, they just need to be looked at just slightly differently. It's it's inevitably it's going to be a cellulose guitar sure. too, but yeah, but it's, it's old. Okay. okay. So so vintage guitars. Just to clarify, you want to look at on a case by case basis. Ideally, you don't want to just take what we're saying here and and attack your ten thousand pound you know yeah. pre CBS strap. Um, sure, uh, I think that's a, an important point to note. So. This one is uh, polyurethane, so it's a very thick, very kind of very shiny, high gloss. Yeah, and it wears differently. Okay. okay, so that could be a way of you telling. Okay, sure. It doesn't slowly wear down like with play in okay. areas. So when you see the relic strats or or, or the, the genuine old ones, they're yeah, worn yeah. In, and softened in sure. certain places. A polyurethane finish doesn't necessarily. It usually okay. chips. This is um, this is information this. I know that Dan whose guitar this is, um, could have done with probably um, sort of 15 years ago when actually getting this guitar and thinking it would end up looking like Stevie Ray Vaughan. So that, that's, sure. that's not going to happen, are you no. what saying? It will never happen. No. <laughs> it's a shame that we weren't there 15 years ago to let down sure. but I mean, uh, maybe you could with uh, wire wool and sandpaper and things, but right. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't look genuine. Sure. That type okay. of wear okay. comes, you know, is, is born of that finish. Absolutely. And I should also say, if you do attack your guitar with wire wool and, and sandpaper, don't come crying to us. We're not saying that you should do that. That's that's definitely not uh, not a decision to be taken lightly. So you said that it cracks differently. So if we can see here, that's a really good way. If you if you want to just yeah. hold that, I'm going to get a close up of that. So if your guitar, you know, kind of cracks like this, the chances are it's a polyurethane finish. Yeah. And you can kind of see by looking at it, it's very very shiny. It's, it's, it's thicker. It's basically. very very thick. Yeah. So it's like so when you like do ding it, so when when fair. when unfortunately you do ding it. It will, it will chip and break off. Right, okay. Just exactly how it's done here. Sure. Whereas with a cellulose guitar, nitro cellulose guitar, if you dinged it in the same place, you'd probably just put a dent in it. A dent, okay. Because there's nothing sort of plastic or like sealing over sure. the top. Sure, it's there. a bit more kind of, I, I would describe it in a way as, it's a little bit waxy almost. It's the yeah. way that it sort of bends as opposed to cracks. Sure, sure. And I guess with a, with a polyurethane finish, obviously it's very difficult to talk about you know, the hundreds and hundreds and thousands of different different uh, types of guitars out there, or even specific different Fender models. But of course, most yeah. of the time, yeah. on a Squire, on a, on a lower end Fender, I, I would say the, the, the majority of the Fender finishes a, a poly, uh, polyurethane, is that is Absolutely. That and also in this day and age, poly is, um, is better than it used to be. Okay. Okay, generally. Okay. You know, um, in the 70s, some of the poly finishes weren't particularly great. Okay. Okay. Maybe they, the mix was different or whatever. Right. Okay. Um, and how, how do you mean not so good? Were they probably <clears throat> cracking or fading? Yeah. Or? Fading, right. getting milky. Right. And just okay. generally not being that good. Right. I think okay. Today's technology and manufacturing, you know, poly finishes is, is, is certainly good. Sure. Okay. So, so when cleaning them, are they more resilient? You don't have to be as careful. I'm not saying. Sure. I mean, in some respects, you could pretty much put anything on a poly finish. It should be absolutely fine. Okay. Uh, but that said, Still use some, you know, decent guitar polish. Sure. Okay. Um, uh, with a nitrocellulose guitar, mm -hmm. every time you're polishing it or cleaning it, you are potentially taking off some of the lacquer. Right. Okay. okay. So what I you see. use is key. Is a lot more key. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so no, no, like you know, household bleach and scourer, for instance. No, not at all. It will just come straight off. <laughs> sure. Okay. Off. Okay. That's cool. That's good. To and know. the difference again, another difference would be a poly finish. It is complete. It's it's stable. Okay. Right. A nitrocellulose finish um, is constantly off gassing. The solvents in it are thinning. So okay. um, over time, right. Um, you know, it could be argued that the tone of the guitar, the wood, comes through a little bit more yeah. because of the uh, the thinner lacquer. Yeah, I have heard that, and, I, and, I, and I, that's very. I don't know. I think I think if when I first started playing, I'd have been very quick to just dismiss that as as, as rubbish. Sure. But having owned um, you know guitars with much thinner finish finishes, I had a, I had a custom shop strat once which had a nitrocellulose finish, 
so heavily, heavily relicked that mm. it was such a thin finish. And it, you just play a G chord and it just right resonates. You know, you can feel Absolutely. it resonating and it's, yeah. and it's jumping out. And there's, there's definitely something to be said for that, I think. Yeah. And also with acoustic guitars as well, you know, they stretch in and... Undoubtedly. With, yeah. with acoustic guitars, even more so. I mean, because sure. when you plug this in, the time you sort of put it for a big rig and you know, play with the rest of the band, sure. you're not going to pick up on absolutely. that tiny nuance. Through the Wembley Stadium PA, Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but with an acoustic guitar, yeah. the nitrocellulose will uh, obviously slowly thin, but it yeah. lets the wood breathe a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. This is more like a skin. Sure. Okay, around an acoustic, for instance. Okay, okay. I see. And it comes down to really time that it takes to do the finish, okay? Sure, okay. Um, yeah, so cellulose guitars, nitrocellulose takes, take longer. Perfect, I see. Okay, brilliant. Well, I think that about wraps us up for sort of talking about the different kinds of finish. What we'll do now is we'll, we'll have a look at each individual guitar and, and, and start sort of start And, sort of and the cleaners it. that we can use with Absolutely. those particular guitars. Perfectly. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you.